Hello students, welcome to this webinar about Fontys University of Applied Sciences ICT department. My name is uh, Leo Maassen. Today I'm guiding you through this webinar. Hopefully I can give you some good information, but please be already be informed that whenever you have questions, you can ask them in real time and then hopefully we can ask, answer them during or after the webinar. You have made an application for one of our ICT bachelor programs in ICT. Today, we want to give you more information about being a future ICT student at Fontes University here, campus Eindhoven. Uh, the information also includes um, uh, information about accommodation options, uh, because when you want to be a student here with us, you also need to have uh, accommodation and Fontis can help you with this. Uh, we will also give you some brief information about the city of Eindhoven, what we can offer to you. Um, and that's why we first want to show you a small so-called after movie of an open day we had in November to give you a first impression of what it means being a student, an ICT student at Fontes University in Eindhoven. So first, please have a look at this first movie. the Netherlands, Eindhoven, Fontes University of Applied Sciences. And right now the open day uh, takes place and many people are here to see our university. Yeah, tot nu toe leek me best wel leuk. Ik vind het een hele gezellige school. Uh, er zijn heel veel verschillende soorten mensen aanwezig, dus dat is wel leuk. Je hebt natuurlijk ook heel veel verschillende richtingen, dus dat uh, is dan ook wel een beetje logisch. Ja, het is uh, nogal interessant. Er zijn uh, heel wat mensen die uh, hun verhaal kunnen doen en met vragen kan ik uh, altijd bij hun terecht. Dus de eerste indruk was wel uh, goed. Fontys is great is that you see your end product. So you're not just studying a theory, you can apply your knowledge. And also the international atmosphere is something that attracts most of the students. They are coming from uh, different countries. They have the opportunity to get to know different people with different opinion and uh, different backgrounds. And it's uh, actually uh, super interesting the fact that you can have a really good relationship with teachers so they can help you anytime you need. Nou, in eerste instantie vind ik dat ons onderwijs is gebaseerd op het feit dat wij proberen een veilige leeromgeving te creëren voor studenten. Zij mogen leren wat ze willen en wat ze misschien al kunnen. Of misschien heeft de student wel uh, zoveel ambitie dat hij in een open leeromgeving zijn eigen leertraject kan uitzetten. Het is uh, ja, hard werken hier, maar ontzettend leuk om uh, ja, gave dingen te maken. Hope you enjoyed uh, this first video. At the end of the webinar, we have another one. Um, let's now continue with some slides uh, related to the several study programs we offer here at ICT. Probably you know, here at Fontys Campus Eindhoven, um, you can study completely in English uh, in several bachelor programs in ICT. Software engineering, technology, uh, business and media design. These are, let's say, the main streams we can offer to you. Um, in the next slides, we explain more in depth the content of these programs. But let me first give you some brief information about Eindhoven. As you know, Eindhoven is in the south of the Netherlands, which is in the middle of what we call Brainport region. Uh, it's known, it's familiar, because it's an international recognized center of science and technology. 
The Eindhoven campus therefore attracts many international students with a passion for ICT engineering or business. After graduation, the region offers students excellent career opportunities in the world of technology, ICT and business. As one already mentioned, when you want to be a student here at Fontis, you need accommodation. And for the first year of studies, Fontis can help you with this. Uh, to give you an idea of how student accommodations look like, I will show you a slide now of one of our student accommodations. As you can see, apartment blocks where uh, you as a student will have your own bedroom, study room, but you will share with three, four other students, depend on how big the apartment is. You share a living room, a kitchen, bathroom, toilet, etc. If you want to know more about accommodation facilities office, uh, Fontes can offer to you, I advise you to visit our Facebook page. So if you go to facebook.com slash technology and business, you will see our Facebook page. And there is also uh, a folder about accommodation options. Um, so whenever you decide to come and study here with us, don't forget to book your accommodation. Uh, now we want to, to focus more on the content of the university programs in ICT. I already have given you briefly the streams we can offer you. But before we do this, I want to mention a few things about the great variety of learning methods we can offer to you. All Fontes ICT programs provide you with a variety of learning modes. There will be traditional classes with a teacher in front of a group, but other options are offered as well. Think of group projects uh, from two to six students, depending on the assignments you will have to do, uh, workshops, practical assignments, Basically, that's one of the features of uh, University of Applied Science bachelor programs. Theory is always linked with practical assignments that can be done in projects or in laboratories. Uh, other ways of learning are company visits and, of course, the most important feature of uh, a University of Applied Science bachelor program, the internships. For two semesters, so in total around 10 months, you work and study in a company related to your study field. All learning methods will be offered in three modes, course-based, demand-based or open learning, giving you perfect conditions to develop yourself as an ICT expert in whatever field. Okay, let's continue now with our ICT bachelor programs. As you know, all bachelor programs consist of four years. The program is completely offered in English and will lead to a Bachelor of Science degree. In the first year, which is the exploration or selection year, you follow courses and projects in the four study programs I mentioned. In the first semester, you will focus on basic ICT related subjects. From the second semester, you will focus on more subjects related to ICT and software engineering, ICT in business, ICT in technology, or ICT and media design. In the second year, you will spend three days of classes in your chosen study program and two days in one or two specializations of your choice. Specializations you might think of uh, cybersecurity, smart mobile, big data, game design, management and security, and many more. You will also work on projects offered by ICT companies. At the end of the second year, you can decide what your final specialization will be. In the third year, you will do your first internship for one semester, 
you work and study in a company. In the second semester of the third year, you will do your minor program. That's one uh, semester of study that can relate to your major, which is one of the ICT tracks or specializations, but you can also choose to study in a completely different study field. Let me give you an example. Um, you want to be an IT expert in cybersecurity, and because of your family network, you want to start a company in Spain. For that reason, maybe you want to improve your Spanish language. So that particular student might then choose to do a minor in Spanish in order to get more Spanish language requirements. Um, minors can also be taken at other universities. So not only at Fontes, but other universities in the Netherlands or even abroad with one of our Erasmus partners. Um, so that's the program for the for, for the third year. Sorry, in the fourth year you will do your specialization semester, and the final semester is always your graduation semester, in which you also have to work and study in a company, but at the same time you have to write your bachelor thesis. Uh, roughly speaking, per week you need to spend around twenty hours of lectures, classes, uh, eight hours you need to spend on projects, assignments, and 15 hours of uh, self-study. Uh, I think in the meantime, a question is coming in. What about ICT and infrastructure? That's a good question because this um, track will also be offered at Fontis starting per September 2019. And ICT infrastructure mainly is, uh, let's say, involved about cyber security. So that track indeed is also offered in English here at Fontes in Eindhoven. Let me continue to give you more information about the content of the program. And don't forget, whenever you have questions, don't hesitate to ask them, because that's what we are here now today to to inform you as much as possible about the content of the program. Um, by the way, before I forget, uh, you made an application. Maybe you didn't, but when you made an application in studiolink.nl, you will be contacted by our admin office for all kind of paperwork. So um, normally it will take two, three weeks before you will get a so-called conditional admission letter. But don't worry, admin office will, will keep in touch with you. Um, as what I mentioned, after the first semester, you make your first choice for a study program. Uh, you can choose from ICT business, software engineering, technology, media design, and also infrastructure, as we have just seen. After the second semester, next to your chosen study program, you may choose one or two specializations, which I mentioned before. These specializations cover the latest developments in ICT. Fontes ICT in Eindhoven has developed an intensive cooperation with more than 100 leading ICT companies in the region, the Brainport region. This cooperation results in the latest ICT developments and if required, leading to new specializations. So are you sure that your ICT study program is always up to date and fits in well with what employers expect from you as an ICT graduate. Let me now focus briefly on the different tracks we offer. Let's start with ICT and software engineering. In the first year, ICT offers theoretical subjects and practical laboratory work in several subjects, including programming in C sharp, mathematics, computer systems, databases, internet applications, 
and communication subjects like project management. In the second year of study for software engineering students, um, you go into depth software engineering subjects like programming in C and C++, system development, object-oriented design, client-server application, and operating systems. For more subjects per semester in ICT software, but also for the other tracks, I advise you to go to our website, fontis.edu slash technology and business. If you go to the ICT program, if you click on more on this program, you can see the complete study guide with all the subjects you are involved in. Let's continue with ICT and business. In the first year, the program is for 75% the same as for the students who choose ICT and software engineering. From the second semester, you will do extra subjects related to business analysis tools. In the second year of study, subjects are given like international business orientation, management, economics and law, international marketing and export operations. And here again, for more subjects, go to our website. The next track we offer is ICT and technology. In the first year of study, um, the program is more or less the same as for students who study ICT and software. In the second year of study, uh, you will get in more in-depth subjects like programming in Java, programming in C++ and C, of course, object-oriented design, embedded software, client-server applications, and operating systems. The next track, it's about ICT and media design, which is about the design and development of the relation and interaction between humans and media technology. You will learn to communicate with users, customers, develop new concepts, create prototypes and UX visual designs. In the first year of study, here again, in the first semester, you do exactly the same as the students in the other tracks. Um, so this includes fundamentals like uh, C-sharp, project management, the subjects I mentioned before. But during the second semester, you will learn to build a brand for a musical act and design develop suitable media products. For instance, websites, visual designs, social media, video, etc. In the second year of study at uh, ICT and media design, which consists of course of two semesters, in the first semester, you will learn to innovate with technology as a starting point. You will learn to experiment with different technologies and train yourself as a media designer to create multiple different products for clients. Common subjects in this semester are interaction, data, visualization, storytelling, uh, and media installations. And in the next semester of the second year for this track, you will learn to innovate with users as a starting point. Based on a briefing from a client, you develop an innovative interactive media product. Partners in education, the lecturate, interaction design, and experts from the field provide actual and creative cases that you will work on during this semester. In the meantime, another question came in related to all these tracks, and that's, of course, what we are really interested in. Would you recognize ICT and software engineering as a balance between ICT and technology and ICT and business? Um, being an ICT specialist, at least that's our vision, 
means that you need to have some basic knowledge about programming. That's why uh, programming languages are more or less in all tracks. And of course, you may understand that students who choose software engineering and technology are more involved in programming languages than students that choose to study ICT in business or ICT and media design. By the way, also the track ICT and infrastructure also requires more programming uh, knowledge. Hopefully that answers your question. Let me continue. So I just have given you some brief information for all the tracks related to the first and second year. That's what we call the, the core phase of the program. Eh? First year exploration, the second year is your focus. There you also may include specializations. So next to, your, to the tracks I mentioned, um, you may choose one or even two specializations. That's completely up to you. Um, that's also one of the advantages of being a student here at Fontis ICT department. You have so many options to fill in your own study program. Um, by the way, at the end of each year, the maximum amount of credits you can achieve are 60. So that means in total, four times 60 is 240 credits. That's the minimum amount you need um, to be eligible to receive your Bachelor of Science degree. Um, after the second year, in year three, you will do your first internship and your minor program. I already explained this at the beginning of this webinar. Um, internships are a substantial part of our program. And of course, you are trained for becoming an intern. So in year two, you will be prepared on how to find suitable assignments with companies uh, to prepare for it so that you can really start your first internship in your third year. Um, the minor program I explained briefly. Uh, whenever you have questions about that, of course, you can also go to our website. Uh, very important, again, to mention is that the minor program can be done here at uh, our university, here at Fontis. For example, um, a student who is studying ICT software engineering is choosing a minor, for example, in virtual reality, which we offer here in Eindhoven. Uh, in year four, the first semester is your specialization. Um, so in that semester, you either continue with, for example, your software engineering track or maybe your specialization in cyber security. And then the final semester, the graduation semester, as we call it, you do uh, a high level assignment uh, at an ICT company uh, where you work and study and at the same time you write your bachelor thesis. Um, another question came in in the meantime, uh, it's about university credits. How are they typically earned? Of course you understand in a university program um, you have to sit for exams written exams, oral exams, projects, etc. Um, for all exams, you can earn credits depending on uh, how big the subject or project is. You can gain four, five, six credits. It depends. When you pass your exam, and a passing grade in the Netherlands is a grade higher than 5.5, so when you get your passing grade, you will automatically get your credits. And as what I told you before, at the end of each academic year, you can achieve a maximum of 60 credits, which allows you to continue with the next academic year. Um, so based on the exams, projects, and all the work you're doing, that ultimately will lead to credits. And these credits eventually will bring you to your Bachelor of Science degree. Hopefully this answers your question. Um, 
So by now I have given you a brief overview. I understand completely that what I'm telling you is only some information, uh, but that's what we also want to achieve with this webinar. Hopefully it will arise a lot of questions with you so that you can send them to us afterwards if you don't do it now, so that we can give you good answers, which gives you a good preparation for your study program here with us at Fontes University. Let me continue um, with the next slide. So in a nutshell, what do you learn in our ICT bachelor programs? First of all, um, you, you will have, you will learn, you will gain a lot of knowledge offered to you in courses, workshops, etc. The next step is how to apply the knowledge. And the application of knowledge is always done in projects or practical assignments, which are coming directly from companies, which is very essential you know, also to gain not only knowledge, but also skills in ICT. And finally, you have to apply all your knowledge and skills in the two internships I mentioned, which is called the professional approach. And for each bachelor program uh, at Dutch universities, uh, the professional approach is linked to what we call certain competences. And the competences that can be anything, analyzing, research, design, monitoring, etc. And depending on uh, the program, the major you are doing, in this case, a major in ICT, uh, leads to certain competences. So think of uh, analyzing data, which is, of course, a very important competence for an ICT graduate student. So typical for all our ICT programs is that your education consists of three pillars. Knowledge, application of your knowledge, development of skills, including applied research and development of your personal skills to become a real expert in ICT, ready for the work field. Here, I want to show you, uh, let's say, two major sources to get to find more information. First of all, that's our website, fontes.edu slash technology and business. If you go to this landing page, you will see all the technology, the engineering and ICT programs we offer here at Fontes Campus Eindhoven, completely in English. Uh, so for you as a prospective ICT student, please visit our website regularly, um, also with a lot of information, as what I told you about the content of the program, but also a lot of information about the ap application procedure, the requirements, the fees, scholarships, loans, etc. All these things are clearly explained on our website. By the way, this webinar will be recorded and we will also put it on the website so whenever you want to see it back then you can find it there and as what I already mentioned uh, also visit our Facebook page regularly because there we put of course a lot of information from current students what they're doing what their interests are but as what I mentioned before there you can find also a lot of information for example about our accommodation options. Okay. Um, when you want to come and study here at Fontis, we don't only want to offer you a sound study program, which is fully accredited uh, with the predicate excellent, which is quite rare in the Netherlands, I can tell you. So we are very proud of having this uh, real good, uh, uh, how to say, result from our uh, from our latest accreditation. So we want to offer you a good, sound bachelor program, offering you great job possibilities. 
Uh, as what I told you before, we are in the middle of Brainport region. We have relationships with more than 100 uh, ICT companies here in the region, um, which makes it very interesting also for international students, not only to study with us, but also to start their career with us here in the Brainport region. And then you might think of um, uh, jobs, uh, possibilities like uh, multimedia developer uh, for those students who, st who are studying multimedia design, but also, of course, other uh, job opportunities related to uh, web developers, software engineers, uh, network engineers, mobile engineers, you can name it. Yeah. Um, so a lot of job opp opportunities for our students uh, who are studying in ICT. Of course, you also have the opportunity to stream up in master and PhD programs. For example, at our neighbor university, University of Technology Eindhoven, with which we have excellent relationships. We even offer opportunities to excellent students while studying here with us to start their pre master program at University of Technology so that after graduation here at Fontis you can stream up in one of their computer science master programs right away. Let me see are there in the meantime more questions coming in not as what I can see. Okay so so far I've been giving you a lot of information I understand so Maybe sorry for that. It's it's a lot, but uh, again, hopefully we can give you uh, good information that rings a bell with you to ask more questions about things that are not quite sure. Um, for now, as a, a small teaser, I would say uh, we go we go on with a next video that gives you an impression uh, about Eindhoven. Uh, how the city looks like and it also explains it, it, it gives you some information uh, given by uh, other international students studying here with us here at Fontes not only ICT but also other um, programs so please for now watch this short video If you would ask me why would students come to the Netherlands to Eindhoven to study here, I can give you two main reasons. Firstly, we have an international business environment here. Many companies in this region, they engage in international business. Secondly, they are related to engineering, ICT and business. Those three-fold combinations is perfect these days to make proper business. That's what you learn here. Being an international student at Fontes University has enabled me to follow an internationally recognized curriculum. I've had the opportunity to learn with people from different nationalities. And uh, since the world is becoming a global village, this will enable me to integrate in any multinational organization because I've learned to appreciate and understand different cultures. Currently, I'm doing my first internship at Philips. It is a research project in the topic of near field communication. And more specifically, I'm working on improving the technology of body area communication. And now I can see how important are the skills and knowledge I gained at Fontis for my professional career. I like studying at Fontis because uh, we get a lot of projects assigned by different companies, uh, as well the theory lessons are put in practice by pra in practical lessons, and at the end, uh, to sum it all, an internship which is offered. Also, Fontis provides a proud program and uh, which awards excellent students. Okay guys, as what I told you, a short movie to give you some impressions. By the way, if you want to know more about the great city of Eindhoven, please go to the website Eindhoven365. Click on English, 
you will get a good impression of what Eindhoven can offer you. Let me see, in the meantime, some questions came in. Um, does Fontes University Eindhoven use the same facilities as TU? The answer is yes. As a student, as a Fontes student, you can make use of, for example, their great library facilities, but also make use of the sporting center, which Fontes and the TU share. So there you can, if you are a member for a very small fee, you can take part in uh, more than 70 different sports. Um, as what, what I told you, we are neighbors, and uh, for that reason, we share uh, common facilities. That's one question. Then there is not. Uh, there is another question coming in. Let me see. Um, there is another one. It's about. Let's say. It's a question that relates to what makes Fontes better than other universities. Um, yeah, what can I answer to this question? First of all, let me tell you that in the Netherlands, Dutch university programs uh, have to undergo an accreditation every six years. That means that an external committee checks the program from A till Z. You know? It's quite um, a tough process, um, but the result needs to be at least sufficient. If not, then that particular program is not allowed to be continued. We are a state-funded university, so then that program will not receive any money from the government, so it has to stop. I can tell you, for Fontes ICT programs, they have undergone this uh, accreditation process last year and for all uh, features ICT department has received the predicate excellent which is as what I told you already during the webinar which is very excellent there is there there is no other ICT university program at a Dutch university that has received for all aspects the qualification excellence. So you may understand we are very proud having received this predicate. Hopefully this answers this question. Let me see as uh, what I can notice. There are no more questions coming in, but don't hesitate to ask them later. You can always send them to our email and uh, one of our email addresses is ICT and engineering at fontes.nl. So there you can send always your questions. You know, it's, uh, we are always happy to receive your questions and to answer them again, to give you the best preparation as possible. Ivan, my assistant, there are no more questions. Okay, then guys, this brings me to the end of this webinar. As what I told you before, we will record it and put it on the website so you can always have a look at it later. Our slogan is study at Fontis, have a good time and start your career in the Netherlands. For now, I say goodbye, wish you all the best Probably most of you still have to sit for their secondary school exams. So for the oncoming weeks and months, good luck. Wish you all the best. And maybe we will meet again somewhere end of August here at Fontes Eindhoven for one of the ICT programs. Wish you a very nice day. <laughs>